All right, we're trying to get to this memory trigger across the way. And also say hello to Keith tries to use WASD. Oh boy. We'll give it our best go. So if, if you haven't seen Berseria lately, uh, I left my controller somewhere. And apparently PS4 controller doesn't work with Andromeda for some reason. I found interesting because the. This area can be mined for resources. Where's it? There's platinum around here. Your so interface. when I lost my when I left my controller somewhere, which is just going to be gone for a week unless I want to go for on a, on a relatively long trip in the middle of the week. Uh, I just plugged in a PS4 controller and then I'm like, okay, there we go. There's Berseria. Uh, now with a PS4 controller instead of an Xbox One controller. Ma Mass Effect Andromeda does not seem to recognize PS4 controller. Maybe I could, like, finagle it into working eventually. I don't know. Here's the question. How do I get out? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I'm trapped. So it's not enter. Spacebar is jump. E. Okay, there we go. Oh, God. And the controls are inverted. Because I'm some sort of lunatic who apparently plays with inverted controls on keyboard and ma on, on, on a... There we go. I play with inverted controls on joysticks, but not uh, mouse, which is a problem the moment you switch from one to the other. Another memory trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. The funny thing is that combat's probably gonna be super intuitive because it's like, eh, point out, get people click on their heads. Oh my God. What is this? I'm sorry, is there separate inversion controls for the freaking... For when you're in a vehicle? There is. Alright, well, that's fixed too now. There we go. The combat should be straightforward, because I believe... Not profile, skills. All of our skills are just mapped to three numbers, so that'll be straightforward. And then I just click on people's heads. Just gotta figure out jump and dash and we're good. Just something around here? Oh, I didn't probe it. Oh, whoa, look at that. Look at all that beryllium. So, Cora, you like numbers, contingencies, all that. We're going to make it here, aren't we? I hope so. It'd be pretty stupid to come all this way just to fail. True. Cool. Good to know. So I guess till now I've just been using combinations of characters that don't How talk to each other. How have been fighting the Ket? Must feel like forever. They're a tough bunch. I wonder if the Angara would let us train with them. I'd like to see their methods. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You'd like to see the Angara methods? You already have. We just did that a moment ago. Oh, this game and its triggers. All these dialogues are happening out of order. I still haven't gone back to Eos. I'll do it after I finish this planet. I'm going to be disappointed in this game if I get back to Eos and it's all like, there's just nothing there. Because they were like, ah, the radiation's clearing, but the cat are back. And I'm like, didn't I just do that? And I, and I think that is the case. I, I still think that's the case. I think that it might have been triggering dialogue for something that's already happened in the past. But if, if they say the cat are back and there's no cat back, then it's like, oh, well, now we know. That was the mistake they made. There you are. That part's intuitive. Spacebar's jump. Cash restocked. The emergency medical caches are back in business. Excellent news. Come back when you can. We just got new supplies, and I have something I think you might find useful. Will do. Unfortunately, I cannot say that uh, the dashing is as intuitive. Oh, bad guys. Let's get in our vehicle. It's an ambush! They made Spacebar a nice intuitive sp uh, jump, but the, the forward dash is not intuitive. You would think it'd be shift, because left shift is how you do this. But apparently that's not how you boost when you're when you're playing as a character, which is weird. That's super strange that they wouldn't go with that, of all things. Hello. Is everything in the same spot here? Deliver the data drive. Scan mineral. Sp speak to Glory Seeker. Collect plant samples. So many objectives are just like stacked into one spot. Well, I want you activated. But while we're at it, 
<laughs> Let's look at controls again. So on foot. So evade is middle click. Oh no. Oh no. That's really awkward. Is it because shift is how you run? It's probably how you run. What did oh, you well. do back in the Milky Way? A job, you mean? Nope, not for me. Everyone needs to eat. You must have done something. I did a bunch of things. Scout, courier, shuttle mechanic, short order cook for a while, researcher, the week after... That's Tetrix, according to my map. We need to find Buxel, Neil just sister. Oh, dialogue got cut off. Once a Bioware game, always a Bioware game from that standpoint. I've added them to your nav system. Cold, dark, I couldn't stand it. There's a dar up ahead. Imagine being posted out here. Must be lonely. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. But he, having that be vo vocal, uh, vocalized is silly, because he's like, it's normal, it's not normal, it's normal, it's not normal. Like, in the time that he finishes saying it, I'm usually changing states again. I'm telling you, the kid, avoid that city. Environment check. Right. Temperatures are within acceptable. Parameters. Sam, I'm trying to, I'm trying to eavesdrop. Shut up. <laughs> I can't eavesdrop if you never stop talking, Sam. You guys have a quest for me? Who do I talk to? Who do I talk to? Hi. Oh right, I've got to put you away, don't I? Which I do via something. Whoopsie. There we go, found it. <laughs> Quest? Oh, it's you guys, not the guys talking to each other. Whoops. Really? Are you here to observe the Yavara? What are the Yavara? Walk onto the frozen lake and you'll see them beneath the ice. They've lived on Vold for millennia. Stories about the Yavara are the only Angaran folktales that survive the Scourge. They're beautiful, intelligent creatures, our closest tie to our past. The ice do and near your people will poach them right out of existence. Did you just randomly start doing environment? I think she just started doing ambient dialogue next to us in the middle of this conversation, when she, but then got cut off by her own dialogue triggering in the conversation. <laughs> Something I should know about? Two dozen Yavara have been killed since outlaws of your kind landed on Vold to hunt. We have no resources to track these poachers, and the resistance is spread too thin. At this rate, our only link to our history will disappear forever. Ryder, you need to stop those hunters. The Avara are vital to Angaran culture. We'll do whatever we can to help. I want to come with you, Ryder. You said you have folk tales about the Avara. Somehow, Yavara stories are the only ones that survive the Scourge. Most of them have the same theme. A Yavara song is so beautiful, it can coax the sun out of hiding, reveal the stars. Just stories, of course, but when your entire history is lost, stories are precious. I see why the Avara are important to you. To all Angara. They're a symbol of what the Scourge took from us. We can't lose them. Tell me more about the Avara. They're amazing creatures able to communicate through intricate songs. Long ago, we could have heard the songs in person, but the Scourge trapped the Yavara beneath the ice. Now we have to settle for static-filled recordings. How do they survive under the ice? No one knows. We've dedicated our lives to studying them and we still can't find the answer. They're cut off from food and oxygen, yet they still persist. My colleague here has a theory they may be remnant. We have no way of confirming this, of course. I'll leave you to your work. Ishare. I know it's off topic, but how do you get those pants on? How do you get those pants on? Look at those bulging, like, calves there. That's insane. Like, how thin the pants get, then how fat the pants get, then how thin they get again is like... How does he put pants on? How does that bulge get through the skinny parts? 
I don't think they can drill deep enough to do any damage. But it may disrupt their migratory patterns. We don't know what kind of effect that'll have. I'm so exceedingly perturbed by their leg proportions. So do all on Garin pants to have like a zipper? Like, so that it goes all the way up and down the, to the bot, the, either the back or the front so that you can slip the whole leg on, then zip it closed once it's in place? Or is it super, like, flexy, where, like, you can squeeze through all the thin parts because it's actually, like, super flexible and it isn't actually as tight as it looks? It just seems like, if, with their pants being so weirdly shaped, I mean, their legs being so weirdly shaped and stuff like that, I just figure that they're, uh... I would just expect their uh, their pants to just be like baggy, kind of, like just more, just sort of, just sort of loose minutes. fitting, so that the whole thing can just sort of slide in. Life support restored. I'm detecting below normal temperatures. So yeah, shift is how you run, which is why sprinting, which is why, which is why the jump is the teleport's not run, not sprint. Uh, I wonder if I can map sprint to W. <laughs> what if just move forward was always the sprint button? That'd be great. I'm curious, but I get the feeling that that would just make it so you never move. Like, you'd press W and just stand still, probably. What do you got back here? I've received reports of sporadic raiding parties from the Kets on Havarl. I want patrols stationed outside Thaldir's resi uh, residence to at all times. No excuses, Axel. You've got messages from Axel here? Axel's the leader of the... Of the uh, of the people that kill humans, <laughs> the not friendly Angaran people. He left Vold. Are you Buxel? I have something for you. From my brother, who can't stop being a hero. Yes, Anyik told me to expect you. My son Skilt said he'd sent people after Nilge. I thought more lives lost. Nice to see I was wrong. Thanks for getting him out. Losing him would have set our efforts back months. Losing family is hard. I'm glad I could spare you that pain. Thank you. They talked about your abilities, but no one said anything about your kindness. Oh. <laughs> now, let's see what we have here. Stars and skies. This is... This is a layout of the Ket Command Center. Entrances, exits, security. We'll be able to cripple their operations. Wait, there's something else here. Oh, that's not good. What? The base entrances are shielded and locked with a code which changes, often. Metadata tells me they downloaded this weeks ago. The code is about to change again. If an attack is going to happen, it needs to happen now. Let me help. Tell me what to do. The code to disable the security shields is encrypted, but I'll keep working on it. I've sent you the map and a nav point for a side entrance that won't have as many guards. Go quickly. We'll be in touch. I'm betting that side entrance is the exact one that we found previously. It would make perfect sense. We just need to disable the shield, which it looks like we'll be able to now. How close is that exclamation point exactly? Like right at the front? Okay, we'll get to that on the way back out then. There's a mineral here. A plant sample there. Is that inside the cave down here? Looks like it is, actually. Yeah, it, it is down here. G, there we go. You bet your ass I didn't remember what button was scanned. That was weird. You guys saw that, right? There was like a giant fleet of like red silhouettes of, of mushrooms for me to scan. Which is the color that says you can scan this, and they all... There they are again! The heck? That's what... That means you can scan it when it looks like that. And the game's like, nope. That's really weird. Weird. Okay. Well, we'll just go past that and ignore it now. These are storage... These are climate control. All just deal, deals with... Yeah, there are samples here. Hope you guys don't mind, you're just... Putting all this work into into uh, maintaining these samples, and I just took one. <laughs> I just walked into your lab and took your stuff, you know, like one does. Well, this will give me a, give, uh, this will give me a, ch a chance to test run sniping with a uh, mouse. 
Maybe I'll just- maybe I will just convert to playing this game keyboard and mouse once I get used to it. Although I don't like how when you're talking to people it says num1 and num2 and stuff next to every command. That's kind of awkward. But maybe I can disable that? I mean, that'd be useful. But I think I'd rather click on them so you guys can tell what I'm clicking on, but half the text is telling me what number to press. You're that Pathfinder, right? I heard about your landing. Welcome to the Aratan. I'd offer you space, but a group from Hajara just claimed the last of it. My translator lost that one. What's an Aratan? It means shelter from the dark. A hostel for people who don't want to camp on the ice. We're the only Dar large enough to support one, so everyone comes here. I get Hajara researchers, resistance patrols, even your people on occasion. There were humans here? Not humans. The spiky ones. Turians. <laughs> they hated the cold. I had to crank up the sun eaters to thaw them out. What were Turians doing out here? I didn't ask. I assumed they were like you, helping the resistance. They haven't come back yet, so they're probably still out there. I should get going. Stay warm. <laughs> what? Excessive use of jetpack. Startling. It's a bed. Better than sleeping in the ice in the dark. It is dark out there, isn't it? It's a good thing Marifa's sun lamp's here. Oh, I'm still not even nearly as close as I thought I was going to be. <laughs> the deaths must have been. Oh, the alien who saved the the most. They said they took down at least fifty. How cats. many cat did you kill? I hope they screamed. I don't kill cat because I enjoy it. It just has to be done. Well, yeah, your people haven't been hunted and enslaved and exalted. It's different for us. <laughs> All right, that's enough. I know they call you Pathfinder. What do you need from us? I'm just- I'm just having myself question these camera angles and like, who thought this was the best idea? Like, it just does not encapsulate who you're talking to most of the time. The camera that falls on- that, that you end up with from this- when it so, slowly zooms over your shoulder. You just can't see what's happening in the conversation. And the whole game works that way, so somebody was like, yep, that's the best way to do it. That's the way we're going to handle every situation. Your priestess, Roshwar Lin, told me about you. I was just curious. Roshwar Lin is a blind old woman. She cowers with her blessings while the cat consume everything. She said you were throwing away your lives. Nothing is thrown away. It's not suicide. We train as hard as anyone in the Resistance. But when you don't fear dying... That's when there's everything to gain and nothing to lose. I can't wait for my turn. But all our blood still runs too hot. Tej is our hope now. Tej is going to take down a Ket station. We should hear the news soon. And what if he fails his mission? If he dies fighting Ket, there is no failure. But if he returns with nothing accomplished, we'll know he was cowardly. Cowardly heart isn't worthy of blessed rebirth. So where's this cat station? You shouldn't interfere, Pathfinder. It's okay, Venge. As long as cat die, it doesn't matter who's killing them. Here's the nav point. It was... interesting meeting you, Pathfinder. Skies be bright for you. Check out this crazy lady that's like, oh, well... What, someone wants to help us against this horrible scourge that's wiping out our, our society? Get out of here, you shouldn't interfere. I uh, I meant scourges in like the general sense, not like literally the scourge, of course, because, you know, there's actually a thing in this game called the scourge. L looks like that one's on top of the mountain, so that one's not inside the cave. But it wasn't crazy to try, because that one, the other, the other one did turn out to be inside the cave. Deactivate that one real quick. There's a few people to try to meet around here. Whoa! That was a cool trick. <laughs> wow, you're hidden back here. Hello. A human? All the way out here? <laughs> you must have guts. If anyone can help my people, it's you. Help with what? The cat destroyed a dar not far from here. 
Retaliation after the Resistance pushed them out. The people were either killed or driven off. They left everything behind. Do your people have somewhere to stay? They're taken care of. But now we have a new problem. I'm a historian. That Dar was home to a priceless Angaran artifact. A map of ancient fold. I sent two of my colleagues to retrieve it, but they run into trouble out there. The Ket came back to finish the job. I need someone to help my people fight their way out. Don't worry. I'll dig them out of trouble. You're a lifesaver. I'll give you the nav point for the Dar. Please, hurry. Can't believe that happened. Holy crap. Alright. Well. Well. So, okay, yeah, they won't... It, it just auto-zooms the camera onto his shoulder no matter how he's facing, which explains a lot. Oh, bay. Okay. So... Now we kind of get an explanation as to why the game... I think they might have patched it to make it easier to talk to people recently, but... In the original build of the game, as far as I could tell, you had to always stand in front of somebody in order to talk to them. You had to be, fa you had to be, they had to be facing you already when you press the talk button, and that led to a lot of awkward moments where I'm like running in circles around a dude trying to get in front of their face so they would talk to me and stuff like that. And now it's becoming clear that that may have been specifically because the game does not want to create its own camera angles, it doesn't want to position the characters, it doesn't want to turn characters when they're talking so that they are like facing the right direction. It just wants everyone to stand completely still where they already were when the conversation started and just swoop the camera in as their mouth opens and closes as they talk. And that, nothing makes that clearer than me being able to talk to somebody while not facing them and it zooms in. <laughs> if you want to think of it as an MMO and it's like it literally is just like a text pop that pop pops up, but in this case it makes a whole it makes like a theatrics out of zooming in dramatically over my shoulder to to pretend to have a conversation system, but we comically like are just not looking at each other even remotely, and and it's zooming in on a wall, and none of the people I'm talking to are at. And I'm like, holy shit, this game. I just I don't think I'm crazy. I think I'm reasonable in saying that I just want my shot reverse shot camera angles that are in every single Bioware game ever since Knights of the Old Republic. Where it's like, camera looks at that guy's face, camera looks at that guy's face, camera looks at that guy's face, camera looks at that guy's face. And everyone's already positioned in these nice little circles as if to facilitate that. But it's just not in the game for some reason. And it's, yeah, it probably took more work or something. But what's weird is that this game was specifically delayed to give it more time for that kind of thing. And clearly wasn't used on that. So it's probably EA's mismanagement, but I don't really care who's at fault, I just say that it's clearly worse off not having that stuff, regardless of whose fault it is. Pathfinder Rider, it is wonderful to finally meet you in person. I'm Ari Vestrick, scholar and chronicler. I've followed your activity with great interest. Chronicler? Like a historian? Quite so. Denied memory of the past or hope for the future, we become dust in a void. The past can tell us an awful lot about the present. Exactly. Our struggles are difficult. We have survived much greater and can do so again. It is my life's work to document the events that shape our world. The arrival of visitors from beyond the galaxy is a significant development, of course. Is there anything we can do to help your work? I have always been curious about how the Ket invasion began. They must have records of first contact, and we have none of our own. Where would you get that information? The Kes are a military people. They must have logs. And perhaps they can be accessed from their base on Vol. Approaching it would be foolhardy. Still, if you find yourself there, please see what you can find. Why don't the Angara have records of first contact with the Ket? Those who are there cannot tell their tales. Dead, enslaved, or exalted. There are stories, rumors. No one knows for sure what happened. I'll leave you to your work. Of course. I hope to speak to you in less frantic times. I'd love to hear about your people. I know some people are bringing it up as the idea of like, you just want to hate the game and stuff like that, but like, I... I didn't play Mass Effect 1 through 3 before this game came out, ramping up to it for the purpose of hating on this game. 
And in this topic in particular, you can go back to my Dragon Age Inquisition playthrough, a game I generally liked, and notice me specifically talking about the idea of like, wow, they're just like, just mass producing some of these conversations and putting no effort into them, right? But in, but in, uh, in Dragon Age's case, the trick was that... There's the poachers. Oh, there's a few, there's a few spots for them. In, in, uh, in Inquisition's case, their trick was that they would, uh... They would just not zoom the camera in. The camera would stay at that really far away, like... Practically Diablo distance, uh, camera angle. And you wouldn't be able to tell that there was, like, no effort going into the conversation. Sakura, shoot straight with me, will you? I'll try. You don't like me. I don't like your methodology. Oh, don't hide behind vocabulary. When you're playing the game, it generally had a camera that was pretty far away. PB, then you then you went to that mode and it was still like I'm that. Not stealing anyone's culture. Fighting with the Sari commandos changed how I think. It was meant to. My, aren't we defensive today? Yeah, I'm defensive. The council ran that program specifically so species would integrate. It might save lives. Huh. I guess it's faster than waiting. Holy crap, they're chatty, by the way. <laughs> they have a conversation, and then like a second later a new one crops up. It's it's whoa. I remember playing Dragon Age Origins running around with like three different characters and like once an hour people would like chime in and be like, oh yeah, we have a conversation now, like this one. I, I kind of wonder if a bunch of dialogue things are supposed to trigger as you go through the story and they, they sort of unlock, quote unquote, and then they all trigger from that point on as soon as they can. Because these two characters have been catching up on lost time, haven't they? I'll have to try other configurations see if I can get more out of them. But yeah, in Inquisition, the uh... The camera would just stay really far away, as if you were in, like, as if you were in combat when you were talking to NPCs. And that was their way of lazily trying to make certain fights just go really quick and easy with no real... Making certain conversations go, go by with just voice acting and no other real work put in. And now they're doing that again with all these other side quests, but the camera zooms in, but in a bad way. <laughs> and I, it was bad before when it wasn't zooming in, but now it's... That like this, their the effort they've put in to make it zoom in now is so token that it's almost like patronizing, because it doesn't the zoom in on the right here. stuff half the time. Must have packed up and moved. And the camera zooming in mostly just highlights the fact that nobody's really actually animating or having conversations. But I, I'd actually prefer the the camera not zooming in, and I kind of wonder if I can mod it to not do that, because. The way that it doesn't actually zoom in the way I want it to, it doesn't do shot reverse shot, it just sort of swoops into my shoulder like Gears of War. That makes me want to uh, mod it to replace that with just not doing that, if I, I can. I knew tech was the answer. A few more like Eos and we're sitting pretty. No one's sitting pretty yet. The staff of those outposts have a lifetime of work. And that's if your remnant technology keeps working like we need it to. Look, I spent months out there with sand in my bits. Let me have this. As of right now, I would probably say that the default camera angle, where of just normal walking around, it's probably better for conversations than what we get, because at least you can see everyone that's in the conversation. And it also doesn't add this little extra level of artificiality that makes it feel a little forced and awkward. But of course, the best case scenario would be to actually give us what the franchise what the fran what the franchise and and the company has done for the last like 15 years. Is that, that, like, hey, here's this guy's face, here's this guy's face, going back and forth, like, that works better. But they didn't want to put that kind of work in, I guess. And it's prob- and yeah, it's because the, this game's just too big. People don't understand that complaint when I have it. Games can be too big. If, if you, if you spread yourself so thin that you can't give enough attention to all the things you're doing. Like, that's even, like, part of why I have been re trying to cut down my schedule a bit here and there to reduce how many videos are going out per day is because I have the same mentality of, like, I need to reduce things because, like, more attention needs to be given to certain things along the way and stuff like that, and things need to co go smoother. Like, when you massively increase the scale of your project in a video game or a movie or a or TV series or whatever, then you risk spreading yourself super thin and not getting anything the attention that it needs to have in order to be good. And, like, Mass Effect was so focused. Mass Effect as a franchise is so focused. Like, there's some token side content that's kind of awkward in each game, but like, the, by and large, the main body of the game, oftentimes the main quest is the majority of the experience. 
and the, the games are so detailed and rich and driven in a way that's... Baby, what did you mean before about it's faster than waiting? Praying on your mind, huh? You know, my people are the big wheels back home. We have the money, the power, the crazy shield in the middle of nowhere. That's Jarnuk. The kid think they'll find some remnant thing there. Our people can't break through that shield. It's controlled from the main command base. Well, say goodbye to that conversation forever. <laughs> Whoops. It's happening a lot, though. They, they talk so much. But everything around me also triggers dialogue. I'm surprised that Sam doesn't chime in to talk about the temperature and cut off those conversations. I feel like he would if he could. Oh, that would be tragic. Burn! Like, I think that... Ultimately, Mass Effect is fundamentally like different from Dragon Age from a perspective of production value, focus. Because Dragon Age has always been, like, heavy on, like, two people talking at each other in a hallway and doing tons of side quests, but... Mass Effect, the main quest has often been the majority of the experience in some of these games. I count the... recruitment and the royalty missions of Mass Effect 2 as being the main story of that game. I know that's paradoxical, but even the game itself counts those as the main missions. When you spread yourself this thin, all of the content suffers, and that's... That's problematic. It's like, they clearly could not... They could not finish it. <laughs> all this stuff, the dialogue and things like that, like, that not being finished, not the, the, the detail not being there, they're compromising what Bioware is just to say their game's longer. Message for Grell. Grell, we had to pack up and follow the fish. They're actually pretty smart to keep them on the move like this. Just use the signal to find us. Van sp uh, speared a little one. I think it was a calf, and the rest of them went berserk. Nearly drowned her. She'll get hypothermia at this rate, so we sent her back to the med bay. Perhaps we're a hand short. So get here as, soon as quick as we can. As you can. Those people... They have no idea what the Yevara mean to us. I want to understand. Why are the Avara so important? Nearly all our traditional stories were lost in the Scourge. Except for tales of the Yavara, on Ford, how they sang from the oceans, and lured the sun out of hiding, how in ancient times they guided Angara ships to safe shores. That's beautiful. The Yavara are intelligent, amazing creatures. And they are being slaughtered. That, that definitely reinforces what I was going for right there. It gave me the over-shoulder camera zoom dialogue. So I could stare at a crate? Why? Like, why Why isn't that just playing over the comms while I'm standing around? Or like, like right now, like, why, why can't I walk around while, that's, while that dialogue's playing? Or, like, why, why does it specifically want me to stare at a crate's wall? Because that's... If you do a camera motion in anything, a game, a movie, a television show, a motion of the camera is itself intrinsically a deliberate choice. If you point a camera at something, you're telling someone to think something, or look at something, or focus something, or feel something. That's the point. That's direction. That's what that is. These games have directors. Like, there are, there are cinematic directors in all of the Mass Effect games. That's an important role. But instead, there's no direction here. Would they, they apply catch-all solutions to everything. Every single time you talk to somebody, that when, we do, when it's not deemed important enough to get custom work, which is the majority of the content, uh, you just awkwardly zoom in over your shoulder, no matter what the context. Doesn't matter if there's 17 people in front of you and none of them fit in the screen, and you're talking to a wall of protesters, and they're all talking to you, but you're only looking at one of them, as if that's the only person you're talking to. Or in this case, where I'm, talk I'm staring at a wall, and I can do nothing but stare at a wall. And there's no reason to stare at the wall, but the game... And nobody probably deliberately was like, This is the moment where the game has the character stare at the wall. But because they don't bother designing these que these quests individually, and they mass produce them and then ap apply catch-all solutions to them, such as, uh, the camera will zoom over the shoulder in all situations forever, period. You get to that situation, those things happening where it's just like... It's just nothing. Like, I don't know, you don't feel anything, and you're taken out of the moment because the game is doing something that just doesn't make sense. And it's so weird. And it's disappointing because this is Mass Effect! Like, 
this is the attention to detail franchise. <laughs> so having it not have an attention to detail, that's a bummer. And I get it if I get it if that doesn't bother you, but it bothers me, and I don't know how anyone could not get how it bothers me and why. That that that's confusing to me. Thankfully, I'll be in a better mood soon because we're gonna go take out a cat base, and that's the fun thing. That's probably the single most fun thing in this game is just a storming an extended one-hour cat stronghold, and I'm looking forward to this planet's one.